Now is the lockdown winter of our discontent, made glorious summer by the easing of lockdown, and all the clouds that lured upon our homes in the deep bosom of the ocean are buried. So welcome to the National Yacht Club. This is our last cooking demonstration before we reopen for catering for our members and their guests to enjoy the wonderful atmosphere and fine food and wine available. So welcome back into the kitchen now. Tonight we're going to do a foite of chicken and prawns in a white wine, ginger and mange to cream. Tonight we're going to be using a Pinot Grigio that we also serve in the bar here. We're going to have uh, some nice Argentinian prawns. We have chicken that is cut up into finger sized pieces. Uh, we have the mange tout that we're going to blanch off very quickly and then some fresh ginger that we throw in the last minute just to give it a, a little cherry bomb of flavour. For garnish we have chives and tomato con casse. So we start off in a, uh, a hot pan, we put in a little oil, olive oil and uh, some butter. I always like to use some oil, some butter, because uh, they complement each other and you, um, they complement each other and you don't burn the butter by having some oil. So I lay out the chicken in the pan and I try to maximize as much as possible on the, the space in the frying pan so that you get everything is cooked evenly. And we just want to give it a real quick, a real quick seal of heat to start it off. And I'm very sensitive to not burning the oil or the butter in the pan. I think we have just about enough in there now. And you saw that the uh, the piece of chicken I put in there first, I moved out to the edges because uh, I left space in the hotter center for the ones that I put in last. Just giving them a quick peel with a tiny bit of color and then we're ready to put the prawns in. And now, the prawns. Uh, the reason why I'm lifting them in individually with the prongs is because they're always going to give off a little bit of water. So, I want to keep that water to a minimum in the pan. I wouldn't mind putting that water in later on at all, but uh, when you're at the point where you're trying to saute, you want to keep it as, uh, as dry as possible, as in no water. So that you just get a, that's how you get your golden brown effect. So, this is all in real time, as you see. We're cooking in real time. So, it's quite unforgiving. If you do something wrong now, you pay for it very quickly. And uh, it's difficult to paint yourself out of a corner. So, I'm cooking away. Now, this is a chinoise. And here are my manche too. The manche too, I put in here. And I'm going to put them into some boiling water, 20, 30 seconds, quite enough. 
put some of the ginger in now. Okay, ginger and our white wine. The wine too still have their colour. That's really important that they sustain their colour. Now we have some fish velouté that I explained before how to make. So you should have that in your repertoire already. And just because I'm feeling a bit generous, I'll throw in a little bit of cream. Heavy cream. So the whole thing amalgamate. Ginger, Is that in? All of it, why not? The whole thing is cooking at an even rate. I'm happy that the temperature is consistent throughout the pan. And that the chicken is now just cooked. The prawns are just cooked. The mange too is just cooked. I'm going to have some potatoes, a portion of potatoes. On that pigs. And we take our, our foite. This is just a piece of puff pastry. And I cut it into a strip, bit of egg wash, cooked it off in the oven at 160 for um, at 160 for uh, 16 minutes. So, uh, there we go, our plate's ready. We have Christian. Yes. Uh, we have our plate ready. And uh, giving a generous portion. There we go. Don't forget to give him a few prawns. Some more chives on top. Tomato con cas. There's plenty of that. And top of our pastry. And just a few baby boiled potatoes. Now, that's a fuete of chicken and prawns with a mange too and fresh ginger cream. Enjoy!